Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through my bathroom transformation, so let's go ahead and get into it. Before I officially get started, I just wanna apologize for that noise, if you can hear it, because it sounds really loud to me, but that's my True Topper projector. Normally, it does that, like when I first plug it in, and it's like that for a bit, but eventually it'll go away. So hopefully, it stops making that sound at some point in this video. So before I get into dates or anything like that, this whole idea of transforming the bathroom started off as this maybe idea. It wasn't even like for sure thing. We weren't completely sure and we weren't even sure how we go about doing it. And even though it wasn't this solidified idea, me and my mom were looking at different things for the bathroom since it would officially become my bathroom. So I had an input on it. So right off the bat, we knew we wanted a new vanity that was bigger than the old vanity. The old vanity was about 36 inches and there's like this big space between the vanity and the toilet. And it's just a lot of empty space that has no purpose. So we wanted to have a longer vanity just to fill in a bit more of that space, make it look just more full. And then I knew for sure that I wanted to have matte black, like hardware for the bathroom, point one period. Then we wanted to get a new toilet and update the shower. And overall, we just wanted bathroom to have a more modern look for the shower we had a bunch of ideas on what we wanted to do but a lot of it required skills that we didn't possess and we didn't want the update to be super expensive so for the shower we decided on the idea of getting a sliding glass door on october 20th the project was actually official because we rented a van and went to go pick up the new vanity which included the sink as well as the mirrors unlike the other ones we were seeing and it was the exact size we were looking for at 48 inches in length we also picked up the new toilet and unloaded that as well and then stored them until the project officially began like the work process and tomorrow we start the work on the bathrooms one last look at the bathroom before we get started tomorrow we're gonna get a new vanity in here we're gonna have the glass installed we're gonna be doing the tile tomorrow and i'm very excited now i'll see you guys when the construction begins So fast forward to November 7th and the project officially began, like the work started. My mom and my uncle were able to take the old vanity out. They were also able to get the old toilet out, but that took longer than expected because the previous owner actually grouted the toilet to the floor instead of caulking it. So my uncle literally had to chip the old toilet into pieces to remove it. And that made a huge mess. So I had to go to my aunt's house and get her shop back. So my mom was able to clean the floors and that is where the bathroom was left off for the day. The next day on November 8th, I woke up and my mom and my uncle were already working on a sliding glass door for the bathtub. And that was delivered, I think, probably like two weeks or maybe just a week before we started the project. But before I get into what happened on this day, I just wanna say this really fast. When it comes to building stuff for our house, it's normally me and my mom. We're the ones who normally do it. But I'm the one who has to read the instructions to build the stuff because my mom either doesn't understand it, she does it wrong, or she just completely overthinks the steps of building said item. So just keep that in mind when I'm telling you what happened on this day. When I came downstairs, they were cutting a piece of the shower glass door, which it called for in the instructions. My mom and I then proceeded to glue that piece onto the tub. At this moment in time, I hadn't really looked at the instructions. Like I didn't give it a good look and a good read to understand what was happening. I was just kind of going with the flow. I trusted that they knew what they were doing, you know? But I started looking and it looked off from the picture. When it comes to instructions, I read the instruction. I look at the picture, just to make sure the picture adds up. So the picture to me wasn't, wasn't adding up. It wasn't adding up. They cut the wrong piece. So yeah, there's that. So we had to wait for a new shower door piece to come in, but the new toilet got installed. So that was a bonus for this day. All right, it's the end of day two and it's very chaotic over here, but the toilet is installed. My uncle and my mom were trying to install the sliding glass door for the bathtub, but they messed up. On November 10th, I was actually in class, so I wasn't at home when they were working on the bathroom, but I came home to a nice surprise of the vanity being installed, along with the sink faucet. So that was a nice surprise, but even though it was installed, we weren't able to turn on the sink because my uncle actually had trouble connecting the plumbing. Then on November 30th, after previous failed appointment, my mom actually had a handyman come out to work on the bathroom. He worked on the plumbing, and at this time, the new shower door piece came in, so he actually installed the sliding glass 
store for the shower along with the new shower faucets and then my mom was able to get started on painting the floor tiles okay guys it's a new day i just wanted to give you guys an update regarding the bathroom it is almost 100 percent complete the handyman came in he fixed the plumbing so the sink now is able to turn on he installed the shower sliding doors that we need to get installed and then my mom did the top coat for the painting of floors and it already looks like a different bathroom already my cousin went ahead and installed the towel rings and the towel rack so it looks so good and i'm gonna show you guys right now really fast but i can't walk on the floor so it just looks so much better than what we started with here it is so far the floors the first coat of white paint on it then we have the sliding black glass doors we have the towel rack the handyman also installed the shower faucets and everything we need to get another one of those it's a push on we got a screw on then he also fixed the sink we weren't able to turn the water on because of the plumbing underneath the cabinet but he came in and he fixed it so all is well underneath there and then once we're done with the floors and everything like that and everything's completely dry we're gonna hang up the mirror in the bathroom will officially be done for now until the rugs and the trash can and stuff come in to be put in here and that process took a couple days just waiting for like the drying and like doing other coats and stuff but on December 6th I was able to go in and paint the two top seal coats for the floor and then we have to wait three days before we can even walk on the floor tile your Christmas spirit, I would like to see you dancing, come on, take a first step, our love is gifted for you to help you through the river, I know you went through a lot, but why not take a second shot, hey, gingerbread man, where's your Christmas spirit, tell me where's your Christmas spirit, road out the Okay guys, now that it's officially time for the final tour of the bathroom, so let's go ahead and get started. 
I'm actually gonna start off with the shower. We have the matte black shower. It looks so cute. Honestly, I feel like adding the shower door made the biggest difference in the bathroom. I feel like it made it look so modern. It looks very scarce in there. I need to get one of those like shower, as they call like a caddy that hangs on the thing so I actually can bring more stuff down like my razors and stuff because I don't want it to like sit on the shelves because it'll look really messy. But so far I've just been like bringing it up and downstairs. And then over here, we have the black rugs. We have a little one turned that way. We have this one. There is a toilet one, but we put it away for now because as we see, we have a Christmas Santa look going on on the toilet, which I think is so cute. My mom first like brought this idea up. I was like, I don't know. But like now that I look at it, even though it's kind of like cheesy, it's cute, you know? It's really cute. Over here, we have the new toilet holder. So this has been a work in progress. It's loose. It has you twisted forever. So me and my mom both gave up on it. I'm gonna touch on it again and like try to tighten it because it being crooked is so annoying. But for now, I'm gonna let it sit like that because it feels like you're screwing forever and it feels like it's never ending and never tightens. So there's that. I have my little matte black trash can that I got. We have this cute little sparkly bathroom picture on the wall. And then over here we have a different picture, which is like this funny phrase. I think that we found at Ross, which is right above the towel rack. And the towel rack is actually smaller than we anticipated, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like I think it looks fine. I still need to find the decorative towels to go in there, but I'll eventually get that. It's just not a priority right now. And then over by the vanity, we have this gold matte black clock. We found at Ross, we just thought it was so cute originally i had like this pink one i don't even know if i have a picture of it but if i can't find a picture of it i'm gonna have my sister send it to me because we gave it to her but that was originally gonna go in here but we found this one and we just thought it would go so much better and i feel like we made the right decision with that we have this little tower ring for now we're not gonna get a decorative hand towel just because the candle's right here and we're gonna have it lit and that's just screaming for a fire to happen whenever it's not christmas the candle will not be over here but it's because of the other decorations the candle has to be over there because crowded over here so there's that but the candle is this pumpkin coconut smell from kirkland's and it's inside this christmas candle holder that me and my mom found at ross and we would every single candle on stairs house one of them then there's this little fireplace that we found at dollar tree we got it and had no idea where we were going to put it and then we just thought it would look so good in the bathroom but we were so worried about how it was going to fit because it was looking so crowded and we didn't know how it was going to work because originally the candle was over there but then we decided to move into the corner with the candle over here and then my mom got this lotion holder originally she put the soap in there but since it's supposed to hold lotion that didn't work out and then i have my little cup over here that just has my long toothbrush and then here is the soap for now i told my mom that it doesn't look bad being out against matte black because it is christmas and red is a christmas color especially right next to this christmas decoration of a light post that has red on it like it i feel like it looks fine but when christmas is over i do have my matte black soap dispenser down here that will eventually be moved up here and then we have the paper towel holder over there and furthermore down here i originally was going to put all my cleaning stuff for the bathroom down here but then i decided against it because all the cleaning stuff is right across the hall anyway so the only thing i keep in here is the toilet cleaning Cleaner, but all the other cleaners I can just turn around and get it so there's no point in having to take up space in here I have no idea what I'm gonna put in here though no idea but right now I have my soap dispenser like I said I have another cup holder that I'm not even sure what I'm gonna put in it and then I have this cup that's holding my little cotton rounds in it and I just pull it out whenever I'm washing my face in this top drawer it is my skincare drawer when I was first looking at these drawers before I put anything in it I was so excited because I was like these drawers are so deep and they are deep but I had more stuff than I anticipated and it took a lot more room than anticipated eventually i will be getting like clear bins like to organize it to make it look nicer but for now i feel like it looks fine because i've been using everything out here for like the past week and i've been pretty good at putting everything right back where it was because that's just how i am with this type of stuff but i have like my main cleaning stuff in here like my cleanser moisturizer my cleaning brush the water that i use sunscreen the oil all that jazz and the second drawer I have like my secondary facial stuff. Like I have my mask underneath here. I have all my extra cotton rounds. I have my aloe vera, I have my exfoliators because I do want a skincare fridge. Eventually the mask will be moved out of here because I wanna put those in the skincare fridge. And then 
moving on to this side this is my oral care drawer i have my mouthwash toothpaste gloss extra toothbrush heads extra toothpaste i have my whitening strips that i feel like don't work because i got them for five bucks but i'm gonna get my use out of them they're gonna be used and here i have my like shampoo and hair mask and then my scrub to scrub my scalp now for the bottom drawers this one right here is actually just our downstairs candle drawer storage all the candles that we want to use downstairs right here literally then on this side is just like my extra stuff like my lotion i have perfume in here i have wipes just miscellaneous stuff that didn't go with the other categories of the other drawers but i didn't have enough of each category so they just got put in one drawer and that is the final tour of the bathroom okay so now that you guys have seen a little bathroom tour i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed this overall renovation and just looking how crazy the before and after is like it feels like such a dramatic change in my opinion i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far into the video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment and i will see you guys next time